what advice would you give to a new homeschool parent who's just getting started and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. This is really scary, but I know that it's what's best for my family. Mm-hmm. Help, help this parent out. Okay, well, I can't help you because I had that exact experience. Before I was homeschooled, my parents had my brother and I in in traditional school. We were in a private Christian school, but it was traditionally run school. And Mm -hmm. and when we they pulled us out that first year to homeschool us, um, it was a big transition for all of us. And and um, there were parts of it that were hard, and there were times where we said, "Can we just go back to the way we used to do it?" Because that was what we knew. Right. But what we found was at first my mom tried to recreate school, just like you said, mm-hmm. like, because that was familiar for all of right. us. It felt safe. Familiar is safe. Right. But we quickly discovered that standing up to say the pledge of allegiance in our di- at the dining room table didn't <laughs> work. Like did there, it just, we weren't doing school at home. We were yeah. homeschooling and it was different. And so she shifted gears and really we spent that first year just learning to be together every day and learning um, to um, cultivate that relationship. So my advice would be don't recreate school. Don't Mm -hmm. make it exactly the same. You don't have to have the same schedule. You can eat breakfast around the table and that can be the time that you read aloud to them a book while everybody's eating breakfast. Or you can um, start with the subject that either is the hardest for everybody and get it out of the way. Or you can say, let's start with a subject that makes you the most excited. You have the freedom to, to make the schedule the, the thing that works best for your family. But I would say, don't even be so focused on um, all of the academics and feeling like you have to keep up academically. Mm-hmm. I would say, choose the few subjects that you think are the most important for your kids to stay on top of, and then really focus on cultivating connection and relationship. So cook together, do ch- learn to do chores together, um, spend time together um, reading or being outside, set up rhythms of going for walks together or bike rides, walking the dog, shopping together, um, set up a rhythm where you're intentionally interacting with other homeschoolers, like mm-hmm. where you see them weekly or you invite them over, you know, for afternoon snacks and a bike ride. Um, do art together, like cultivate connections in your family, but also cultivate connections with other people because that transition, um, you're, you've pulled your kids away from their community of friends. So you need to make sure you put some of that back into, um, into their lives and into your life, homeschool mom, because you might find that it's lonely for you too. So I think cultivating connections in lots of different ways that should be your emphasis for that first year when you're starting this homeschool journey. Yeah, yeah, that's great advice. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 